Huli exhibit. Um, it was kind of unpleasant trying to get into it. Uh, hey Mark, how you doing? <laughs> are you happy? <laughs> I'm very happy. Um, Lauren, any comments? Hi, uh, this isn't the way I want to experience art. Why? Because I feel like I'm in a jail. Uh, <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being led like a um, sheep. I don't, I don't respond well. I don't. In this kind of structure. I don't either. <laughs> I mean, when I, I mean, if you okay. I'm to be an artist, and I don't respond right. well. Compare to what we're going to be seeing, right? Right, right. We're going to be seeing Dale Chipuli, which is like all inner flow. Yeah. Good, Organic. Like, Rigid yeah. structure. Yeah. Is it the institution? Mm -hmm. um, I want to know. Is, is I mean, some of it is like, how are they? How else would they do it, right? Right. It needs to be orderly, right? Right. But could it be more people friendly? Hey, perhaps. I gotta say that I liked the work, yeah. But um, I didn't like the atmosphere. What do you mean? That surrounded didn't... the work. I didn't like that I. Sirens are going off. I didn't like that I felt like I was like I had to leave in a matter of like 30 seconds, or that I'd be kicked out. You know. I think yeah, then... we were yelled at a lot. <laughs> yeah, we got yelled at. We got yelled at a lot. Yeah. And then I, I mean, I just, I guess, I mean, for me, art is like the only thing that's left that supposed to be free and I think you should be free to look at it however you want and I, I get the whole like there are a mass amount of people here right now and how are you supposed to you know organize that but a lot of people are cranky though yeah I just I don't know it's not even so you're, you're talking about the museum staff the museum staff yeah. yeah it wasn't like the guards were fine Pretty yeah, they were actually sweet. But it was, it's like the staff. Who take the money and direct yeah, the Yeah, like the ticket takers are yeah. particularly I wonder why. cranky. Well, I mean, they got to deal with a lot of people, I guess. I don't know. And they, they're they probably been for, busy lately because it's the summer. Mm -hmm. So, like, right. people are... I they don't know, I just... They have probably good music, but they are cranky. Yeah, and there was, there was a lot to see, and I just wish I could have spent a little bit more time there. And um, I get very... Like, when there's a lot of people, I just want to get out. Claustrophobic. I run. Yeah, yeah, so I just, I, I mean, maybe I should come here on my own, like on a non-free Tuesday, but I can't afford it. <laughs> Another thing about the museum. I wish it was free all the time. Well, I think what you're hitting on is like the coldness of the institution of the museum. Yeah. Is what going on. And um, it's like you feel like a little sheep. You know, marching yeah. through there and right. you're like, oh, there's some really beautiful art, but right. I can't really fully experience because somebody's behind me pushing me or somebody's <laughs> in front of me. Jamming um, me with their perks. Looking, you know, not moving. And so you're like, oh. yeah. They're in charge and you're not. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, uh, we're in charge. Yeah, like, yeah. like the, the man is in charge. The man. The man's in charge and we're not. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you have this little bit, but I did get in twice. <laughs> you did get in twice. I so you got the man a little bit. Yeah. Damn so the man. Started as I, I, I asked the... Beyond the... Um, yeah, Mark, you were going to say something before I turn off the camera. Well, I was just saying, uh, interestingly, we were talking about the experience first. that just came yeah. out as opposed to the art first. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. We were talking about the art and then talked about the experience. Like so that right, gives yeah. you an indication of the... There was a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Stifling quality to it, the overbearing quality to, yeah. the, to the structure. Oppressive. That that oppressive yeah. that that got in the way of the art. But getting to the art, yeah, and having gone in twice, <laughs> that I enjoyed it both times. Quite well, a bit. Good. Quite a bit. Did you get more out of it the second time? Like um, you know, do you think? No. It's worth seeing work his work twice. You know, is there more to it? I don't. Or is find it just aesthetically, or is it? 
Personally, know? I didn't find it particularly deep. Yeah, I, that's, right. I don't. I definitely um, don't think it's any. A, there's any con. I mean, I'm sure there's a concept behind it, but I just don't. I don't feel like I need to yeah. dive deep yeah, philosophically yeah, 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 into yeah. it. Right. It was more like sort of um, frosting type. Yeah. You know, beautiful, tasty, but not right. You didn't see the yeah. struggle there, or you didn't see. Yeah, there was no. You know, uh, I didn't get. I guess I didn't get an. I didn't get an emotional kick out of it. I got more of a. Uh, aesthetic appreciation. I think it was more ornamentation, right? Mm. There's yeah. the difference between fine art and then the, it's kind of craft, isn't it? Yeah, I, Venetian glass is craft. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I would, the first thing I thought of was uh, Tiffany, Louis Comfort Tiffany. Oh, yeah. Because of uh, the um, because of the the allusion to nature. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I thought that Tiffany, I, I saw that there was a Tiffany show. You could see that that work had been commissioned by very wealthy um, homeowners right. sure. who wanted mm -hmm. very wealthy doors and glass stained glass and lamps and, yeah. and stuff like that but there was an integrity to it that was that I didn't quite see in this work and this was work didn't have any restraint at all it was just like so over the top not that that's wrong it's just not for me what appealed to me more was something of a um, much more restrained nature hmm. but I immediately thought of Tiffany when I, when I came into it because of the, the like for instance those uh, the, the log one yeah they call those things Re the no. reeds punks they look like punks punks yeah you know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that, is, is that an east coast thing yeah what's I think a punk? so you know those, those are punk to me is like a jackass <laughs> no no the, the, there are the, the reeds in the swamp oh I thought they they're cattails Cat oh yeah that's what we call we, them we call them Cat punks <laughs> No way. No, cattails. Cattails. They call them punks in New Jersey. We used to, we used to catch them. <laughs> You're all we punks have, in New Jersey. Well, yeah, we <laughs> I, they don't even call them that anymore. But anyway, <laughs> my point is that that reminded me of Tiffany because it clearly that it had a, it had a, a natural form to it. And it had more restraint. Okay. Had more restraint, even though there were like 8,000 of them and they were purple. Right. <laughs> That's they, true. they had um, a very nice quality. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think um, I think I may appreciate the work more because it's a talent that I don't have. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do it, and so right away I'm a, I'm a, I'm add, I I I, I, tur I turn on I go to a different I go down a different road. Well, that's a craft and a technique. Yeah, I right. I, I think I appreciate the work more for the technique than I do for even for the look of it. Yeah. Does that make any sense? But then we were talking about he doesn't really do his own work now. He, I know, that bothers me. He designs it, but I'm sure, I'm not sure if he blows it these days. That's the other thing that I, that I noticed. No, he's like a team. Yeah. There's a book about his team. Yeah. When, I, when I came in on my own, I thought to myself, this is too much work for one man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So maybe and we, that me. we feel not the hands-on presence of the artist. Possibly. Maybe that's what it is. Possibly. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. anything else we want to talk about? I think I, overall, I thought it was a successful show. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I think it was really well installed. Yeah. I think it was actually. Yeah. Oh. I think the, the museum curation nice, yeah. yeah. deserves a lot of credit. It's, it was a lovely installation. And it was very exciting. And let's face it, to get people to come to a museum is still good for art. It is good for art. So let's remember that. That's not going to get lost. But we were also talking about the idea of his work outside in the environment versus inside the room. Yeah. So how did that feel to you? To I felt see it, it was inside? cold and. Impressive. Not as the powerful. No. It's certainly as, cramped in his space. Yeah, because when you see his work on that video in this greenhouse, all of a sudden you're in this, see these beautiful plants, and all of a sudden pops up this, you know, mm -hmm. piece of glass. It was just like, it's amazing. Yeah. And it yeah. would be breathtaking for a viewer. Um, to sort of come to, upon to, it. To, yeah, to. Yeah, I do, because uh, Mark said something to me. Such uh, retrospectives are already always hard for him because it's just all, like all, the all. same art over yeah, and over again, yeah. and it's just overwhelming and you yeah. don't really I think you it gets overlooked in a way sure. well go, just go to the, any big museum go to the Louvre for yeah instance. oh god yeah so right. you think I gotta see everything right and then you, you run I seriously I ran <laughs> <laughs> you check it what up your list see? it's all yeah. that I feel like an overstimulated I feel like an overstimulated cat with 18 people <laughs> right. and all my favorite food I don't know which one to eat and you're first. on catnip <laughs> right. on catnip okay all right cool the end yeah